It is the cheese quiz with Hacksaw Jim Duggan. What is the There's cheese? There's the bell! Oh, be, okay, that be may careful be ringing the bell, brother. That may Where's be Hogan mistake. now? Where's Hogan now? All right, the All cheese right. quiz. Here we go. I'm going to slide back easy now. Okay. Easy, big film. Click over here. And you're thinking to yourself, my God, you have reincarnated Patrick Swayze and reenacting <laughs> my favorite scene from Ghost. But in fact, uh, it's, it's not. This isn't Patrick Swayze, and certainly we're not reenacting that fantastic flick from Hollywood called Ghost. I've been waiting 30 plus years to ask this question. What in the sweet heck were you talking about all those years, Willis? <laughs> I was talking about different strokes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already hot. Freddie, what, what's next? Uh, this. Okay. What's it? Oh. All right. <laughs> okay. This was actually worn on the show. It was in a clip just a second ago. Okay. All right. Then you have this one. Are you kidding me? No. This is ridiculous. You do this you every time. You want to stay warm, right? Every time I can't see. How do you drive a truck and you can't see? This morning, uh, we've been talking about, well, gardening, vis-a-vis -vis the business end of the zebras and the giraffes and the elephants here at Riverbank Zoo and Garden. Okay. No, she does not have any milk. The Are you sure? <laughs> does, he, uh, does he call everybody dog? <laughs> is this just one, is this one lion's dog? Oh, really? I thought they smelled bad on the outside. Just have a little bite. Can I, can I just, can I just share a little bite? Just maybe it's a little bite. Can I just, a little bite? No? Okay. Just thought I'd ask. Okay, he's getting a little close to me, Kathy. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, huh? Hello. Here we go. Oh, oh, I missed! I missed! I missed! I missed! I missed. And, uh, grab, grab you a handful there and uh, <laughs> squeeze it. And if it stays together, go ahead. Go ahead, Tyler. Warming up. So I'm going to spin once. Yeah. Spin twice. Yeah. Oh, good God. And on the ground. <laughs> I want to do over! <laughs> All right, how come everybody's backing away from me? It's a scary thing. All right, guys, well, this is not going to go well. I think I got him. Ready? <laughs> I'm so angry right now. Damn! That wasn't so bad, was it? Just like that. <laughs> <laughs> Challenge accepted. I was gonna go. There's a hundred percent chance of beautiful girls your way. <laughs> Emery Brooks. <laughs> Very nice. Gosh darn dad nab traffic! I can't get out of here! Oh, hey! How are you? Yeah, we're talking about road rage this morning. <laughs> Hello! Hi! We're gonna pull out with a directional signal. Stay with us. Road rage it is on this Drive It Forward Friday. So you guys know that age-old, timeless question of, hey, is that a gun in your pocket? Or, well, in this case, yeah, it's, it's a gun in my pocket. Well, guys, you know, we cannot celebrate the river and the river keeper without actually getting on the river, right? Up next, we're going to talk about paddleboarding, how much fun this is on the river. Yeah, we're hanging out. Stay with us. We're live and local and hopefully dry when we come right back. This is the Scooter Way Scooter Frank. This is awesome, man. Yeah, it's fun. It's a great way to get around the city. We've been riding around all morning long here. Brand new concept of the company. So this is the future of Columbia right here, right? Everybody riding around on a Scooter Way Scooter. Think about this. On a misty morning in Europe during the war, 10 young brave soldiers would climb aboard this B-17 and take flight to defend their country and freedom, knowing full well that there was a one in four chance they would never return. Diving is more than just sucking air below the surface. Exploration of a world that few get to see is a motivator to strap on a BCD and go on down. 
as voters across the state and frankly across the country head to the polls this morning to pull that lever. All right, our responsibility as citizens to vote who's going to lead our country, our communities, from the school board to the uh, city councils, all the way up to our leadership in Washington, D.C. Uh, if you're going to park your car for any amount of time, you want to do that and put them up. And here's why. If you're driving to work or driving to the store and you've heated up your windshield, okay, the snow is going to continue to melt down. It's going to continue to melt for a couple of minutes where your car cools down. You're inside for, I don't know, maybe a half hour or so. It starts cooling down and re-ices. Suddenly now your windshield wiper is now frozen to your windshield. That's going to create an issue you won't be able to see. The old gut check, you know, are you going to get the invitation to the annual soiree of the year or maybe the boss is going to ask you to come back? Did the senator give you the nod when asked about the guest list? Did the mother-in-law agree to play nice just one time? In the country we have, as well as I do, I will do more to bring it back to what it used to be. Amen. We, we have the greatest nation on earth and we should keep it. I don't think there's any more true than that, my friends. We're right here at the Justice Cafe. If you ever want to come and meet here, come up and say thank you. Every Wednesday they're here. But uh, this is very much a, a very special day uh, for a lot of folks here, U.S. and United States Marines. Guys, stick around. There's more Good Day Columbia. <laughs> Talking eight farms full of potatoes. Yep. That's all you do is potatoes. The heifer that stays here, we will AI her, which is artificial inseminate. Okay. Once she calves out. Is that where you gotta like. Yes. <sighs> All right, go if on. If she is... How do you like that, big fella? Huh? How do you like that, big fella? I got you, I got you. Uh-oh. Yeah. Oh, my. Yeah, it's a lot funnier. You can do this. It's just wrestling in. We're up. Okay. Guys, uh, stick around. I'm coming back in a couple minutes, I hope. Now look here, we both know you want a car, we both know I want to sell you the car. So the question is, what do I got to do to put you in this car today? And Andy lived um, in this trailer. 225 Goodwin Road in Gaston. It's the home where Andy Powell lived. It's also the home where Andy Powell died. It's been nearly six months that Elvia Swainson has been searching for her daughter Gabby, who was last seen in her northeast home early on the morning of August 18th. Law enforcement and the community are not the only ones looking for clues. Oftentimes, in missing person cases, private investigators join in the search. But the Swainson case wasn't the first time that police investigators felt there was a connection between Freddie Grant and the disappearance of a young woman. Around 1890, the very first officer would rise up through the ranks to become the chief of police. Now, by all accounts, he was a good man and a good leader, but history has created some controversy. Although the case is what you might call cold, finding justice for Andy Powell and answers for his family is very much a passion for the detectives of the Lexington County Sheriff's Department. For an American soldier, basic training is just one step in the process, and once they graduate here, it's almost like a tease. 24 hours with your family, hugging, kissing, exchanging laughter, and then they're off again to the next step, AIT. The road to becoming an American soldier is not an easy one, nor should it be. It's more than 200-year-old tradition. As we look back on 9-11, we mustn't forget the lessons we learned, the heroes we lost, and the sense of American pride and spirit that was only made stronger on that Tuesday morning in 2001. I'm Tyler Ryan. Thank you for joining us. What happens when you climb a ladder because a woman shouldn't because her uterus will fall out? <laughs> I just had to say it. <laughs> It's good. the truth. If you're Listen. just joining us, good morning to <laughs> Letter Chat with Jane Herlong, author of Bury Me Your Pearls. It's the truth. Good Listen, Lord. every Southern woman has heard these stories from their mother. Uh, that I was mine. Heard. Yeah. I, I mean, I've heard about going blind. I'll give you that, but I've never heard that. <laughs> Jane, toss me with books. <laughs> Talk to me book. Come on, come on, real quick. Come on, you're missing an opportunity. Give me a book. You're missing a promotional opportunity. Oh, God. Here we go. On <laughs> Jane Herlong's book, you can curl up with this. <laughs> she Here was just on, on with Tyler Ryan a few moments ago. Yeah. We've lost control of the show already. So anyway, good, good day to curl up with a good book.